When I was young, I remember playing one time in church. And after the service, someone walked up to me and said something like, That was terrible. Why can't you just play it normally? What was all that fancy stuff you were doing? So I thought about it for a few days. I was hurt. To be honest, I thought about it for several days. Then I came to a conclusion. Out of that experience, and a few more like it, I've learned a few things. When you're a drummer, you're sometimes not considered to be part of the music creation process. You are just meant to play the beats so that the real musicians can play the music. You're just a metronome, a timer that consumes food and breathes air. And to stray away from that form of expression is considered sacrilegious, blasphemous, unforgivable. But let's ask the question, what is so bad about expression on the drums? So why are drummers so salty? I listened to a podcast once where two drummers were discussing how even the drum community has its divisions. Some people said, it's all about the pocket, stay in the pocket. While some more expressive drummers shouted from the rooftops, there's nothing wrong with playing a few chops here and there. The first group said, but you are ruining the music. Then the second group said, but we are enhancing the music. So I ask, why are drummers so salty? Could it be that we are not considered to be real musicians? Well, there's evidence of that. And when a guitarist in the band is like, no bro, that's not how the beat goes. It goes like this, boom, bap, boom, bap. It's that simple. Why can't you just play it like that? Simple, you say. Hmm. Well, some would even get on the drums and try to show you how it should be played. Maybe not intentionally, but the drum is considered quite a simple and easy instrument to play. And I know you may disagree, because it takes years to master the intricacies and nuances of such an instrument. But just ask a couple of people, anyone, drums, keys, guitar, which is the easiest? Uh, drums? Yeah, that's what I thought. I think that's why the musicality of drumming is in question. Why, as drummers, are we reduced to a glorified metronome? But what makes musicality? Is it the number of skills and modes and licks and variations that can be played on an instrument? Or is it its melodic properties or its ability to invoke emotion that makes it musical? The Oxford English Dictionary defines musicality as musical talent or sensitivity, the quality to have a pleasant sound, melodiousness. By this definition, I dare say that drums is a very musical instrument, if not arguably the most musical. It induces dancing, the nodding, the occasional tapping of the feet, and in some cases, whatever this is. Musicality is controlling the pulse of a song, setting a bass, a homing beacon, a lighthouse to which all other instruments are lined to. But just like a painting cannot just be black and white, a bit of color never hurts anyone. Just like a cake, it's just fine. A bit of icing never hurts anyone. So why are drummers so salty, you ask? We are not just a glorified metronome. We are musical. The drums is an expressive, intricate instrument that evokes emotion. Maybe not like a sad tune played on a piano, or like some smooth tones on a saxophone. But the drums is unique in its own right. I once listened to a drum solo of J.P. Beauvais and I was moved by how it told the story from stillness to chaos to order and all with hitting of drums and banging of cymbals. Musicality is in the craft, the execution of it, the peculiar sound, the artistic expression. 
We talk about guys like Sean Wright and JD Beck and Dana Hawkins and Dave Worker and Chris Dave and Anika Niles and a lot more fantastic drummers. All people who developed a peculiar expression, not just another metronome. They don't see us as musicians, you say, but how can we show them? We have to show them or they wouldn't see. And yes, there will be some outliers who refuse to see. Those who will stick to their guns and say, well, it should be done this way or that. But an artist is only unique when he or she expresses what they truly feel. I once watched a session on YouTube where the drummer, Tyrion Lockett, played along with a band. The tune didn't require much from the drummer, so all he had was a hi-hat, a kick, a snare, and a right cymbal. He just had a steady basic beat to play. But a lot of the comments on the video were on how the beat was really groovy and how the drummer made the song way better. Just by adding slight variations, he was able to add life to the music, an expression of musicality. So if you think groove is king, be the best and most tasty calculated groovy drama ever. If you think chops are to be played, be the most tasty flashy drama ever. Just don't play in a country music band. But most of all, let your artistic expression shine. Look for ways to develop your sound, ways to be unique, ways to be totally you. It's only in that expression that you can be holy and truly musical. So why are drummers so salty? Because it's salt that gives taste. And without it, the music is just flat. Hello players. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was a fun video to make. If you would like to see more videos like this and join the player nation, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified every time there's a new video. I would like to hear your comments. It took a long time to make this video. So leave a comment down below. What do you think? Do you agree? What are your opinions about this video? And that's pretty much it. I hope you're staying safe out there. Oh yeah, this video was sponsored by the Drum Chops Builder app. Link down in the description to save all your drum ideas, drum fill ideas. You can save it on your phone and practice later. It's amazing. Check it out. Link in the description down below. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. This is your boy J Sticks. And stick with it. Stick with it. Peace.